cannot be stressed enough that doing your own research is crucial before buying a cryptocurrency, either readily available on an exchange, for example like Bitrex, or through an ICO. Now this lesson we will be covering ICOs, and I just want to state up front from now, Cryptonary do not endorse or condone any ICOs in any way, especially the Electronium example we're using now. I'm purely using this because this seems to be the hottest craze in the market. And I've had several people just message me and say, are you going to get involved in this? And this kind of made me realize there is a problem right now. There is a bubble being caused by ICOs. And I was even recently in a meeting with the owner and several founders of Ethereum. And even they were against Electronium and not necessarily Electronium, but they're against the ICO craze. Now, you're probably wondering as well, what is an ICO? First of all, an ICO is exactly the same as an IPO on the stock market. You know, whereas an IPO is an initial public offering, an ICO is an initial coin offering. Essentially, you are buying the crypto before it becomes available to trade on the market. And 99% of the time before any real working product or use case has been developed, meaning you're investing from practically a startup standpoint. Companies aim, you know, they're aiming to entice investors to participate in this early stage. They'll throw in incentives like 10% bonus coins. For example, with the token sale here, you get a 10% bonus and it ends in five days. Cryptonary are always ensuring to cover every cryptocurrency analysis in depth, but this does not mean we imply immediately investing because we have highlighted a coin as having high potential for future growth. So we never approve of investing, first of all, or for another individual's advice alone, as this is where the gambling aspect comes in and hoping for the best. And it gives room to emotional investing and impulse decisions during spontaneous market moves. Because if you invested in this ICO right now and then the market crashes, because you haven't done your own research and you've just jumped into the ICO craze, you would be so psychologically distraught from the thought of knowing your investment has disappeared into thin air. Now, when you first hear of a new cryptocurrency in ICO form, you know, wherever that source may be, you generally become informed of the following thing. And that'll be the full name of the company and its abbreviated token name. Now for this example, Electronium. The token, which you can join here, the token is called ETN. Now, you will then be given a very generic understanding, for example, a blockchain or an anonymous currency. In this example, we can scroll down. Electronium is a mobile cryptocurrency, simple to use, powered by an app. Now, again, one thing you will notice they're trying to entice investors in, especially people who do not know what they're looking for. So what you'll see is you'll see loads of amazing effects, loads of nice visuals, animations, all kinds of disruptive words like there we go disruptive technology enormous awesome just adjectives that are throwing you in to try and jump in on the ICO hype the next thing you'll know is the approximate current price of the coin and how undervalued this is now it does not say the current price here however if we did log into the portal I have no doubt it would tell you the price again it is saying you have 10% and you only have five days left to get this and then you will have most likely a very generic understanding of what the company plans to achieve. For example, take over the banking systems or replace the internet. So if we scroll down, we will see hopefully what they're planning to achieve here. They plan to disrupt the technology. So what are they planning to disrupt? So they plan to disrupt the ease of use and accessibility of a cryptocurrency. It opens up an enormous market of 2.2 billion smartphone users. So again, we don't necessarily actually understand what their plan is right now. We do just know they're trying to take over some market. So it's very, very cryptic in a sense. So if we go down, let's see what else we can find. So essentially, this is a mobile wallet where transactions happen faster and are more anonymous. Okay, so anyone with your public Bitcoin wallet address can see how many Bitcoin you have. Whereas Electronium allegedly makes this private. So again, there are simple effects and simple changes that these companies are introducing and immediately making an ICO based on this simple change. So this is essentially no different just having a Bitcoin wallet, just with more privacy. But yet you're paying a premium or investing six years in advance before a product is out. So you have to be very careful of what you're actually investing into. Now, many people will immediately receive this information and think, wow, this coin is planning to be used as a new global currency or the new wallet. 
and it's only trading at three dollars this is so undervalued but it suckers them in to a coin they actually have no clue about now if it was this simple to pick a legitimately high potential coin we would all be millionaires already now there is an overlooked list of information and key criteria we have to look for during our research and that will really put us ahead of the average uninformed investor all of which can actually be found in plain sight on the official website official steam it pages and more importantly what every single cryptocurrency has especially prior to investing in an ico is something called a white paper now i've already done the research and i found the white paper just here now, this is an overview in a white paper now we need to be the intelligent investor here and that means delving deep to unearth the real gold which will actually benefit our investment knowledge this can be something such as the current employees. Most official websites will have a team page, so to speak, with images and roles of the team. A simple LinkedIn and Google search will determine the credibility of the information provided. Look especially for history, you know, running other businesses or startups. Now let's try and find their business page. So we have the team page here. Pictures. A little bit of information on each employee. You even have links to LinkedIn profiles. Now, more importantly, I want to go straight to this profile and see what exactly he has done previously. He's the director, Richard Ells. He's currently working at Electronium. He was previously working at Site Wizard Limited. Now, you have to ask yourself, what was Site Wizard Limited? Was it successful? Why did he leave Site Wizard? These are all questions that you have to ask yourself and actually just go forward with. You have to remember because these ICOs are unregulated, anybody could invest. If they were to go to a venture capitalist, they would be doing the same due diligence we're doing right now. So you have to pretend you work as a venture capitalist. So if we go to Site Wizard, it seems he was once working for an SEO services website. It seems fairly legitimate, but we haven't done reviews yet. So all we can do is go back, double check what he done. He was a technical director. He was there for a very, very long time, 16 years. And that alone is credibility. Nobody stays at a company for 16 years if it was a scam or they were doing dodgy activities. So that's cool. We can accept that for now. The next step is how are they planning to achieve what they say they are? Does the company have a valid roadmap of progress? Or, you know, if so, what stage are they at? And is it also too overpromising? Now, if we go and find a nice little insight... You can see they've already built a custom Electronium blockchain. It allows them to launch many new disruptive technologies and features cryptocurrencies on their market. So they've got blockchain development, an offline wallet, a mobile wallet, desktop mining software. They're currently developing an app. They're marketing the crowdfunding token sale, which is the ICO is currently in play. So we can see their roadmap is underway. They have completed some of the essential steps. Again, we need this information as this is crucial. We know they're making progress. They're not just selling us a dream. Now, has the company run into any issues previously? Did they overcome them quickly? Let's have a quick look. Overall, there's no scam links so far. There's an article in The Guardian. Harry Redknapp former Tottenham Hotspur manager urges people to get involved. Now, he says he was not paid for this, but the problem is how would Harry Redknapp have cryptocurrency knowledge? So you have to see this in a kind of perspective of cryptocurrency investor. Now, a former football manager who potentially, I mean, we cannot say he doesn't have any knowledge, but we also cannot say he is qualified to give that kind of advice. So we have to look at this in two ways. Overall, there's nothing really bad we've seen so far. So we can look into that further. And then we have to look into partnerships. Mainstream presence. Do they have any major interest from blue chip corporations or do they have any confirmed partnerships? Even appearances and continuous invites to tech conferences. Like tech conferences are very, very important. We're getting their name out there and becoming a respected household name. So if we have a look, it seems so far there's no mention of any partnerships. Again, that can be looked into further. However, they are mentioned on Yahoo Finance. 
That's actually how I heard about them. Finance magnates. They had an interview with the founder. They also had an ICO benchmark of 4.5 out of 10. Again, this doesn't confirm anything for me, but it does help me kind of edge towards actually investing. It gives me more confirmation and we need as many confirmations as we can get. Now, finally, the tokens use case in relevance to the company's business model. Is it an essential part of the company's day-to-day activity, such as being used for access to specific privileges, receiving dividends, or even storing value? And if the business model can actually operate perfectly and succeed without the coin's assistance, there is no real value behind the investment, and in fact, a huge risk to investing in the coin. So the coin has to have a use of some certain case. Let's see if we can find out. So what I've actually found in the white paper is a section which is essentially based on the token itself. Now, what this basically says in simple terms is the Electronium ETN token does not have any real relevance to the company and the business model itself, meaning nothing, essentially, meaning there's no real relevance to having this besides the potential speculative increase in the future. Now, it does say here, they think Electronium will have a great appeal for long-term investors, those who wish to buy and hold Electronium for its future value. Digital coin speculators, those looking to acquire Electronium coins and then sell them to other investors and speculators to generate short-term gains. However, this does not explain how this works with the company's business model and how it integrates, therefore meaning you're basically buying a speculative asset with no real value and no real backing to the company itself. So again, in my opinion, these are red flags and something we should always be looking for. But again, do not take my opinion. Always use this kind of analytical approach to every single ICO you see, should you go down the route of investing in one. And then remember, always spend a few hours minimum just breaking them down anyway and trying to find answers to as many of these questions for each cryptocurrency you find appealing. You'll be surprised how many incredibly looking investment opportunities suddenly turn sour when you do the due diligence, a bit like now. Remember, preserving capital always gets priority over a missed opportunity. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.